keep an eye. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna expand this land here and actually be smart about this instead of being stubborn. Because that's the problem with this game, because I like things my own way. And if something comes off the pattern, I, I can't really handle it very well. Oh. Of course, now I can build there, just as I'm doing that. Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 8 of my Settlers 3 Let's Play. In the last episode, um, we kind of expanded over here, um, and we're actually seeing the enemy territory over here. Um, and we're kind of getting our ducks in a row before we start mass producing soldiers and invading these guys up here. But what we also want to do is slowly... Ooh, we have to get this guy to kind of touch that. And I don't have a pickaxe. Alright, that will be the first thing we do. We're going to solve this pickaxe dilemma. Uh, let's shove pickaxe. Oh, there. And we'll probably need to make a pickaxe too. But I'm pretty sure he's just going to take that over there. That's fine. That's fine. And we need a scythe. So first of all, we're going to be a little doing a little bit admin things. Um, we're running out of coal, aren't we? And we need a scythe over here too. Uh, and we've got a scythe there. Alright, so it looks like we've got a bit of a... Bit of an iron ore kind of... Kind of issue over here. Which I'm going to try and fix now. Uh, we've got the normal priority. Let's just shove that down a bit. Alright. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say... Is what we're going to do is we're, we're going to try and... Exp we want these bases to touch. So when we take over them we can... Leech all the resources and speed things up dramatically for us. Um, we're also going to keep expanding around the mountain and getting all these resources and dumping them there to really map. But we want to speed things up now. I did notice in the last episode, I noticed wine is piling up here. And we're not getting an excess amount of wine at the moment. Um, but we are, should get enough for a promotion. There we go. And this little heavenly presence should give us something. Yes gave us some plenty of things that we're actually in need of right now um what is yeah that's on even variety which i kind of like it i don't need an axe too god it's so demanding no this other settlement is very very demanding of us right now all right because what I want to do in this episode, we're kind of phase two, as I was saying last time. Phase two of, of production is kind of ramping everything up. But we can't. Oh, whoops. We can't really ramp things up until we kind of ensure that these are getting what they need. Which is not happening right now. They're not really getting a lot of coal. And that's probably stemming from. These I give this these mines over here are giving us a lot more coal than these ones, but these other ones are getting the food. Um, how are our breakers going? Uh, they're stacked up. Still producing a lot. Let's sh shove in sixteen of those. Let's try and get some coal over here. See, we're finding a lot of coal, but not a lot of bread. And the the slow producing. Br uh, coal it. Hmm. I have to think how I'm going to fix that. I mean, technically I could fix it by just creating a greenery over here. I don't like doing that though. I don't like doing that at all. Now what I've, what I've also learned is I'm going to do this. I'm gonna shove that full of swords. Where are we swords? I'm gonna shove that full of swords. Just so there's gonna be a shorter distance from when we start pumping out these fellows, which we'll move over here. Doesn't look like the AI is very aggressive at the moment. We'll actually move this guy over here slightly. But what I'm hoping to do is this wood cut uh, this stone cutter makes some room here so I can expand further that way. I'm told, I've got a pickaxe there. These guys have kind of conquered that. We'll actually move them down here. We'll get them to conquer this little area over here. Alright. 
So we, we're getting a lot of coal being dumped. A lot of coal's being produced and dumped. I need to pick up, pick up that now. But that do take a little while to load up. There we go. There we go. So they are dumping things nicely. Hmm. We need more coal. How are we doing with wood? We've got ample wood. Alright, I think we're going to go in this direction. A charcoal maker's hut. I think that's going to be a good little, little top up for our coal. Um, I'll have that there. I'll make that there. So in case you didn't know what a charcoal maker hut does, it basically takes wood and makes charcoal out of it. It takes a lot of wood though, so it's not exactly the most, you know, economically efficient building. Um, but it is sustainable because obviously you can plant more trees and just keep that going on a loop. And it looks like we've got plenty of wood around this world. We've got a lot of wood. So that's not exactly going to be our issue. Well, we'll make this guy target over there a little bit better. Now, green is still not really what we need it. We've only just got those two up. That seems to be producing alright. So I'll probably... Oh, yeah. That alright. Yeah, we're still dumping grain here and there. We're starting to have some resources pile up over here, so this... It's a good sign for us. That's starting to pump up a lot more. There we go. That's what we would like to see. And that go. Alright. Getting a lot more coal. What we'll do, in preparation for us ramping things up, we'll get another one of those down. And we need a scythe. Of course we need a scythe. And there's a scythe there. Hmm. I think we might have to start ramp building another one of those, to be honest. I think we're getting quite a lot of goods piling up over here. Alright, let's just start that. We'll get two trade ships doing the drop-off and one coming back. Oh, 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 that's what I got. How many? Alright, we'll get two bowmen here. Ooh. I mean, that's pointless at this point, but we'll get two there. And just to keep this side a bit busy, because it feels like, yeah, it feels like they've got a lot of resources around. We'll dump another one of those large, large residences top up our, our people because they these guys are just gonna be warriors this is this is pretty much the only use of this land right now um let's move tech uh we'll move you over there now let's because we're gonna strip mine this whole thing but we need the food to be able to supply that so now we've got our swords dumping there that's good now how's our wine going we're kind of actually no, we haven't got an excess of wine, but we're quite a lot of wine. Oh, we've got some more heavenly presents. Let's see what goods we get. Oh, there we go. Stone we don't need, but gold and spears we could do with. And I think I've got spears on there. Cool. Looks like we now need another axe. God, they're so demanding. We're probably all... Um, yeah. We're going to get two trade routes going because it looks like we're getting too many resources. Because the problem with this is I think you only can take like three or four resources on one boat at a time. And if you've got one or one thing, that only will carry you that one thing. So they, they kind of carry in stack. So if, when that trade ship comes, it will pick up one scythe, just the swords and the hammers and nothing else. It's kind of annoying. So it's not, it's not saying you can take 64 items. It's basically saying I only can take four stacks of, of each item. If that makes sense. That doesn't really make sense, but if you notice here, see, so just let me show here. We'll zoom in a bit. So it was load up. Do, 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 do. Hurry up. After he thinks about it. There you go. So you only took the, the axes, the swords, and the gold. 
So that was it. So you left behind everything else. Even though you can take like a full stack of swords and a full stack of uh, axes. He took a full stack of gold, I think. But he left behind everything else. So that's one of the kind of limitations behind it. So it's one of the risks of if you just want to transport one item, you're kind of sacrificing a stack of something else. Um, that's why getting two trade ships up pretty early is helpful as well. Now, what, what's happening over here? They're not really building anything, are they? And let's just scooch in here. Alright, looks like this guy's on his way of, of expanding that. We might actually be able to hook around there instead by the rate this is going. Alright. Uh, all right, they've got a large residency there and a guard tower. It doesn't, doesn't look like the AI is too aggressive, so I think this is going to be an easy one for us to, to finish off. I mean, technically I could go there right now and conquer them, but the, I like to do it on my own base. <laughs> and technically I could just go there and, and own them, but we won't do that right now. Wait until we got our ducks in a row. Um, now, how do we look with the grain? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. They didn't like my spy a lot. <laughs> Alright, luckily we've got another one here. So, we, w we want this early warning system. So, hopefully that doesn't trigger them to do anything. Um, but we do have plenty of guys lined up. And hopefully we're going to have a bunch of archers as well. Covering our backs. So, if you've noticed we've got little archers on top of these now. Really, I use them to delay and for my troops to kind of come. And the trade ship's ready. Alright, so we're going to put the over there. That should help speed things up. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get some flour built up here. So it might be time for a new bakery. Alright, I think we're going to build another break here, bakery here. Uh, where do I want it? Um, put it there. Put it there. Alright, so yeah. Because we're starting to get a little bit more grain because now these are starting to ramp up. And, oh, uh, hmm. It's a little bit slow there. Really want bread. These mines are... Actually... I mean, it's not too bad when you compare the two. Ah, oh, 90. Yeah, that's actually really good. Oh, I need another scythe. Is any of the boats carrying a scythe? Oh, he's carrying a scythe. That'd be fine. Scythe, hammers, and some swords. That's what I like to see. Oh, carrying a stack of gold. Yeah, that's what that's what I fear that they're because there's only so much so much goods that you can stack there as well. And considering how much they just dumped there, I've got a feeling there's been a bit of a blockage of how many goods have been transported. But this should start ramping things up. So if you notice, these guys are getting right back to carrying something. So they've got stuff, stuff on the agenda. So that should start moving things along. Now, what's our strength? Oh, there we go. We've got, we've upgraded our troops. So probably what we do is once these are fully promoted, I think we'll go mass recruitment and just conquer them. We'll just go for it. I think from that point, I think there'll be enough fluffing around. Oh, we've got this territory now. Ah, uh, I can't really. Hmm, let me be smarter about this. I'm going to be a little bit smarter about this. These guys, I want them here. I'm going to try and expand the territory there by... These guys and plant a little tower there. I think that's going to be a smarter one because these trees are just in the way and not allowing me to build anywhere. That's actually a horrible place for it. What am I doing, Dave? That was a just a terrible placement. Uh, let's go there. There we go. Alright, so we should be... I, I want bread. None of them are dumping bread there. Alright, I'm, I'm going to be very ambitious and get three of them going. I think it's the gold that... Oh, I haven't really... So I can do this as well. So this turns uh, 
kind of desert into greenery, but I don't think I have really huge desert patches around. No, I don't. Alright, so we nearly got that up. This is, this is good, this is good. We're getting a good stack of things here. We've got this guy up now. might also plant one of these down on, on this land. So if we got this up, yeah, there you go, see? See, this is going to be just constantly pumping out wood to this guy now. And he's going to be making us some coal, which should ramp things up here. How are these two doing? They're doing very well. And this is getting a good stack. That's very healthy. I think we can take the next step with that. Uh, let's dump that there. I don't know why I put that one so far away initially. It's a bit pointless. Alright, we're going well. So thank you, I'll take this time to thank you all for listening and watching while you're here. If you want to leave a comment or make a mention of anything I've talked about, yeah, might as well. Put it down below. Up to you. <laughs> oh, what are they doing now? Oh, medium residence. Alright, just keep an eye on Keep an eye. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to expand this land here. And actually be smart about this instead of being stubborn. Because that's the problem with this game, because I like things my own way. And if something comes off the pattern, I, I can't really handle it very well. Oh. Of course, now I can build there. Just as I'm doing that. You guys are banished to this corner. I'm n I know it's not your fault. But it is your fault. Get over there. Get over there. That guy seems weird. What are you doing? Are you going for the, that? Alright. <sighs> that was so frustrating. Anyway, how are we going? Our promotion's nearly there. We kind of want to start getting really good soldiers and we'll start pumping them out. Cool. These guys are tra being, transferring a lot better now. Here we go. We're getting a lot more bread now. It's really sh that's probably why it's amped up a little bit. Especially that one over there. That was actually a really, really good coal mine. Oh, of course you need a pickaxe. Let, let me just do a stack of pickaxes right now, because I feel like with more mines and everything, I'm going to need them. So, we'll chuck down a stack of pickaxes there. Alright. And what we'll do is we'll pump out another one of these to keep them busy. And we'll probably build another resident. Oh, another two residents. Because these are meaty buildings, so they do take a bit. Still a scythe? You still need a scythe? God damn it, how many damn scythes do you need? Alright. Let's put another couple of scythes. That's just... God, that's so demanding. Put four. Alright. So we're starting to stack up our mines on this this side of it with bread, which means we're still going, going to go, start to get an excess of bread, which we can start getting rid of, which I'm a little bit excited for. All right, trade ship ready. So I'm going to actually leave that trade ship, leave that trade ship there for now, and just until where I feel like it's I'm getting enough enough goods needing to be transported because right now I think it's I can I think we've got to balance a little bit. Now do can we do heavily presents again? Actually we've got a stack of oh that's bad. We've got wine sitting there not being given to the gods. Let's get, let's get some of these up, eh? And just for good measure we'll probably shove out another winery. 
keep these guys busy really that's the whole whole purpose of it for some reason I only ever keep four wood there it's just this weird thing they always do you never see a big stack of wood there Beard's getting too long, I need to shave it. Now, I'm waiting for the first bread to start going there. How are we doing? Doing well, this is constantly in operation. The pig farm doesn't really have a. S oh, it has, it has a good stack of. Oh, you got a lot of. a lot of food there. What am I. how about. let's me. let me pump out a stack of that too. At least that way we'll get rid of that. Cause I feel, yeah, because these guys are stacked out. How are we doing with fish? We'll probably need some fish as well. Let's just transport all the foods. All the foods. Ooh, look at these bakers. Working hard. I like it. Alright. Um... Okay, let's do that there too. Now I want you to finish conquering that land, probably around about there. All right, now we've got there. A little bit further, a little bit further. Uh, find some resource there. We've got nice little gold stacks there. I'm liking that. And we've got a lot of weapons over here. We're gonna start cranking these out soon. Ooh, we're nearly there. I think my the, the mistake I made here is not building this a little bit sooner. These two buildings a bit sooner with all that wine stacked up. That means these guys aren't farming it. Hopefully that can get up pretty quickly. Ah, uh, this is, oh, looks like we've got a spy there. Hmm. This is the problem sometimes they have, they get, they get AI confused, and pathing confused, and they get a little trap there. That's one of the risks when you have too many trade routes on it. To get around it, you kind of just build a, a separate trade route for it, but sometimes they can get messy. Alright, let's see, Heavenly Presence, what we get? Just gold. Just gold. Which, you know, you can't argue with gold, but still. Bread. Oh, that started. It started. The bread started. Oh. I love bread. Bread. Actually, I'll oh, chuck that out as a priority because I forgot I built those two and those are going to hog everything. And we'll turn that off for now because I'm going to need the wood. I think over here we're going to need... Oh, I think we're good with wood. Yeah, we're good. It looks like we're consistently getting enough. And that's going to be too much of a problem. Well, that's tuning it out very well. That's tuning out very well. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, gold. We're nearly there, nearly there. It's just a little bit there, just like a meter. A uh, meter? Well, I don't know. Probably one, two, three, and then we'll connect it, and then we'll we'll start the invasion. All this, all this time is nearly come to fruition. I believe the word is. All right, so we've got that up again. So that means we're. Giving more wine to the gods, getting them drunk. Um, a scythe I should be still, yeah, be still cranking out stuff. It's Lindor's thing. That's fine. Uh, woodcutter, you can't find any trees. There's plenty of trees down there. Go for that. You can't find any stone, buddy. Have we got it? Yeah, I think you're done. I think you're done, buddy. We're going to have plenty of stone from here. 
Actually, we'll make this guy do it a little bit closer now. And you're going to have plenty of stone over there. Cool. You're going to have to actually be a little bit careful here. I don't know, I've got, I got some stone there, but i got some stone there. Yeah, i got to be careful. It might run out of stone quite quickly. Hmm, i got to be conscious of that. I've got a good block over here too, so I think it'll be fine. Ah, I think we'll be fine. Don't worry. David, don't worry. Why are you always worrying? Everything's going well. This is such a waste having this little castle here. See? Stuck pathing stuck again. So what I should have done is kind of instead of building another one just build another trade route like down here which I can technically still do I might actually still do it yeah and just divide them in two so like maybe maybe gold and weapons only go to that and then this can be just a food transporting route and you know, with food and uh, food and tool maybe but we've got looks like we're getting actually yes. oh they got bread there we go we're gonna start seeing a lot of coal coming from here now uh, we've got three uh, three arrow guys here, so let's recruit three arrow guys and stack up here. I'm always conscious of um, the AI attacking because when they attack, they attack. They they don't they don't half-ass that kind of stuff. You kind of have to, you'll be on the back foot for a lot of the time until you're kind of really able to kind of handle their assaults. They pepper you. They definitely pepper you. Unfortunately, working because when the game, when the level starts, they are set up well, be well better than you. So they normally have quite a lot more top level guys, and you feel that pretty early on. So that's why I'm very conscious. I'm very jaded <laughs> about the AI now. Um, looks like we conquered the mountain though, so I don't think we're going to be doing anything more there. But, oh, we've got a little arrow guy now. And we've got two arrow guys here. And we've got, oh, ooh, there we go. So, w once this gets ticked over, once this promotion is 100, tick it over, I think we're going to be doing ma mass recruitment. I think that's when we're going to trigger it. And we're nearly there. We're nearly there, ready for it. Oh, got some more heavenly presents. What are we gonna get? Oh yeah. Uh, slice will be useful, but I think we're just there. Another gold mine. Let's shove down another gold mine. Uh, we'll shove you over here now. Oh. There we go, that's what we like to see. Got coal pumping out already. That's very good. So we'll probably... We'll probably move arms to there. Weapons to that one. Yeah, I think, I think we'll move weapons to this boat. This, this kind of trading route. And food and everything on that one. Then that's the smarter option. But look at that. Look, look at the, the goods that are powering up already on there. Oh, glorious. It looks like. Oh, we've got. I mean, we've got quite a lot of iron ore and gold there. And quite a lot of um, grain too. Which seems to be maxed out a little bit. I think we're all right with with meat. I think still. Hmm, I mean, we're good. Those are quite. It doesn't look like we're just pumping enough bread. Still, it just doesn't seem to be enough, eh? Oh, look at that! It's just a pretty sight when you see all that. <laughs> Oh, we didn't make that a priority. Silly me. Oh, 
there we go. You can dump it there. Hmm. What are those guys doing? Alright. A scythe. Still need a scythe. What the? I'm going to give you four scythes. And we'll put four scythes there. I don't understand why you need so much damn scythes. Oh, there they are there. They're just sitting there. Not being picked up. Hmm. Well, I'm going to deal with my scythe problem next time. So thank you all for watching. Um, if you did like what you're watching, just leave a comment, like, just give me some idea you're enjoying this. Um, and I will be making more of these, so make sure you subscribe. So until next time, bye-bye.